So yeah, tell me what I got. Okay. And uh, I had the question. I can't uh, answer all the details because this one uh, that I assume C to be. Okay. So read the Okay. So let's see vector is equal to C I cap plus C J cap plus C K cap. Okay. So C vector dot I cap, or I will call it C1, C2, and C3. Okay. C dot uh, I cap will be C1. Accepted. Eh? Why? C1 I cap plus C2 J cap plus C3 K cap dot I cap. So this will be C1 into I cap dot I cap, which is C1. Similarly, C vector dot J cap will be C2. Because J cap will have a dot product with J cap. No? So yesterday you did this problem or not? 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap dot 3i cap plus j cap minus k cap. If I take something like this, then the coefficients of i cap will get multiplied 6 plus 3 minus 4. Right. So what is happening is when coefficients are present, they are getting multiplied. For example, if I do the same thing with only 3i cap, then what would have been the answer? The answer would have been only 6. Because j cap and k cap are absent in this. In a similar way, if I have c dot i cap, then I'll be left out only with the coefficient of i cap. If it is c dot j, I'll be left out with the coefficient of j cap. 
what is it it is c cap dot k cap that will be c3 okay so they are saying c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c3 okay let me call it as c itself okay let us say this is c then we know that c vector is equal to c1 i cap plus c2 j cap plus c3 k cap so can i write this as c into i cap plus j cap plus k cap okay so what is magnitude of c vector that it is c into root of uh, square square of the coefficient so this is already given as 100 so c square or c will be equal to 100 divided by root 3 or 100 root 3 divided by 3 then what will c vector be 100 root 3 divided by 3 into i cap plus j cap plus k cap i think the next sum was similar okay so only thing is see when they say magnitude right you can write plus or minus here because when you remove the magnitude right you might get plus or minus so it'll be plus or minus here also it'll be plus or minus then that's it sir that's the sum for the day right you are on the that's no so did you do any problem based on vector product no sir not at no try them where are they cross product of vectors Yes. So, what is the question? Find a vector cross b vector and a b vector cross a vector. Okay. The subtraction a vector is equal to three k cap plus four j cap, comma b vector is equal to i cap plus j cap minus k. Okay. The second subtraction is a vector is equal to. Two comma minus one comma one. Mm. B vector is equal to three comma four comma minus one. Okay. So you had three dimensional geometry, huh? Yes, sir. You didn't have three D also. So it was combined together section B and they proved section B. So section B is a linear regression. So a vector cross b vector is i cap, j cap, k cap. The coefficient of i cap below that zero for a. How much should I write below j? Below k. For b, you know how to solve this. Solve it fast. Okay. Are you fine?
Is that what uh, the answer is also given there? Is it right? Now, if you try to calculate b vector cross a vector, what do you think you are going to get? Yes, minus of minus 7i cap plus 3j cap minus 4k cap. Okay. That will give you 7i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap. This is how it works. A vector plus B vector is equal to negative of B vector cross A vector. Okay. Then what is the next one? So A vector A B vector is given and we have to find magnitude of A cross A vector into B cross B vector. Okay. If A vector is equal to two I cap plus J cap plus three K cap, B vector is equal to three I cap plus 5j cap minus 2k cap, find magnitude of a vector cross b vector. First find a cross b and its magnitude. Good. What is it? So, minus 79 cap plus 13j cap plus 7j cap. Okay. If I find the magnitude of this, how much? 17 square plus 13 square plus 7 square. Next. Read it. A, a vector is equal to 3 minus 2 k cap plus 3 k cap 
Okay, so how to do this? Can you do it fast? You know what is B vector? That is I cap minus 3J cap. You know what is A vector? So 2 times A vector will be 2I cap minus 4J cap. So find the cross product between both. Next one. B vector cross B cross C. So what you'll do is first find B cross C, then you find the uh, cross product of A cross B cross C. First find B cross C. You understood? Huh? Can you solve it? So it's all about time only. Make it fast. The concept is easy.
So his answer matching there. Yes. Do the next one. So how come they taught you magnetic effects of current and everything without teaching vectors? So I don't know. You will be able to solve problems. Huh? I have problems. Ah, sir, the call for you. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Ah, sorry, sir. Now they can better in a giving class to the phone for the Okay.
have any doubt you're able to do so increase your speed so only if you're good with this right i can proceed with physics uh, motion chapter or loss of uh, motion whatever it is so you need to be good with vectors or else i can't teach then what is so example number 6 these are all direct problems right so what is example number 6 the vectors a bar and b bar are such that a vector is how much magnitude of a vector is 3 and magnitude of b vector is root 2 divided by 3 and a cross b is a unit vector then find the angle between so a vector cross b vector is unit vector hence the magnitude of it is 1 and 0 okay is a unit vector then find the angle between a vector and b vector it's very simple now you can do it so we know that a vector cross b vector is how much magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector sin theta n cap okay now i didn't tell you about this n cap yesterday n cap is a unit vector perpendicular to both a vector and b vector okay this is a very very important point to be noted because this is the concept on which magnetic effects of current also works okay now if i take magnitude on both the sides magnitude of a vector cross b vector will be equal to this term hello amma amma ah unga ungal board theriyada unga ungal board theriyada edavadhu na
Any doubt? So read the question. Find the vector of magnitude root 171. So underline that word, which is perpendicular to both the vectors. I told you, right? When two vectors are perpendicular, that will happen only when you do the cross product between two vectors. Okay, if two vectors are given to you and they're asking you a vector which is perpendicular to both. If they use the word perpendicular to both, then it, they're indirectly telling you that you need to do the cross product of those two vectors.
So, if a vector is this thing, b vector is find the unit vector which is perpendicular to both. So, first find a plus b, second find a minus b. Since they ask perpendicular to both the vectors, what are the two vectors? This one and this one. So, once you find a plus b, you will get a vector. Once you find a minus b, you will get a vector. Do the cross product of those two vectors. Based on the knowledge I've gathered, right? Look at the previous year JA questions. Okay. If A cross B is the same as B cross C is the same as C cross A, then we need to find what is A plus B plus C equal to. So what they're saying is A cross B is equal to B cross C is equal to C cross A. Okay. Then we need to find what is a vector plus b vector plus c vector is equal to. Okay. So for that, let us consider a plus b plus c. Like when I write like this, it is vector. Okay. Since cross is given, consider a vector. So you need cross b vector, right? Consider cross b vector. Okay. So when you consider this, what will you get? One minute. 
a cross b is equal to b cross c is equal to c cross a then a plus b plus c is equal to okay So one thing, whenever they ask a problem in JE, right, they will ask based on the properties only. So if I combine these two, A vector cross B vector is equal to B vector cross C vector. When they come to the left-hand side, A vector cross B vector minus B vector cross C vector is zero. Okay. So if I write this as A vector cross B vector, this whole thing, I can write it as plus C vector cross B vector. Why? Why did I change the sign? Because B cross C is the same as minus of C cross B. When you do the cross product between the vectors, the sign will change if you swap the vectors. Okay, when this is the case, this is also zero. So if I take out B vector outside, then this becomes A vector plus C vector as zero. Okay, so let this be equation number one. Now, if you combine these two, Try to write it in the same form and tell me. Sorry, B vector cross. C vector plus C vector plus C vector. Hmm. Similarly, when you combine the first and the last, you will get A vector cross B vector plus C vector is zero. Correct. So this is two, this is three. So when I take all these into consideration, my job is to find what is A vector plus B vector plus C vector. Okay, if I will call this as, for example, D vector, because some of all the vectors is supposed to be another vector. So I'll consider So I'll consider cross B vector on both sides. When I do this, A vector cross B vector plus B vector cross B vector plus C vector cross B vector is equal to D vector cross B vector. Accepted. So I took cross B vector on both the sides. Okay. Okay. But what is A vector cross B vector plus C vector cross B vector? A vector cross B vector plus C vector cross B vector is 0 plus any vector cross itself is a 0. Okay. This will be equal to D vector cross B vector. Since we know that D vector is not equal to 0, we can conclude that D vector is Z. So what is the answer? A vector plus B vector plus Z vector is a zero vector. Option C will be the right answer. Understood? Now C. Let A vector is equal to 3i cap minus 5j cap, B vector is equal to 6i cap plus 3j cap are two vectors and C vector is such that C vector is equal to A cross B. So if they have given you two vectors, you need to find the third vector using those two vectors, then find the magnitude of each vector and the ratio of them. Do it first. Did you understand the question? A vector is 3i cap minus 5j cap. That is one vector. B vector is 6i cap 
plus 3j cap. These are two vectors. So how is C vector related to A vector and B vector? C vector is obtained as an output of cross product of A and B. Okay, then you will get a third vector. So when you have three vectors, you know how to find the magnitude of them. Find the magnitude, find the ratio, and tell me the answer. Third answer. So what did you get C vector as? Hmm? Minus 8i cap plus 39. Do not get J. So tell me the vectors. A vector is equal to. Plus No, you, should, you got wrong. You will get I cap into 0 minus J cap into 0 plus K cap into 39. Because you have two zeros here. No? So, C vector is equal to 39 K cap. 
his answer will be root 35. 35, uh, 34. It's to only 39. So option B is right. Okay. So this is how problems will be when it comes to mean. Till now you did only basic problems. So directly they gave you the number and you substituted it. If your luck is good, you will get those kind of problems. If not, this kind of see, I'm not saying these are tough. Right. Now you have three lambda C vector. So write down this question. If three lambda C vector plus two mu A vector plus B vector is zero, then the options are given. What is the relation between lambda and mu? Okay. See how properties are applicable. For the question, three lambda C bar. What is the question? You wrote so it. Three lambda plus two. Three lambda C vector. Plus two mu. Three lambda C vector plus two mu. Uh, three hmm. equal zero. Is equal to zero. Okay. So three lambda C vector is equal to minus two mu times A vector cross B vector. Okay. So C vector will be equal to minus 2 mu divided by 3 lambda into A vector cross B vector. Correct? So remember, A cross B is a vector. Okay? 2 lambda by 3 mu is some number. So 1 vector is equal to minus some kappa times another vector. What, is, what kind of vectors are they? What kind of vectors are they? Yesterday I taught you. Under the types of vectors, see. Yes. So when they're anti parallel vectors, you can say C and D are of opposite nature, right? When that is the case, then you can say C vector is equal to minus K times A vector cross B vector. So, in the place of C vector, I am replacing it with K times D vector. No, D is actually A cross B. K times A vector cross B vector is equal to minus 2 mu divided by 3 lambda into A vector cross B vector. When that is the case, then I can conclude I'll make it simple. Till here, you understood the concept, right? So, when two vector, uh, if one vector is equal to negative of other vectors, then you can say that they, they both are anti-parallel. So, when they are anti-parallel vectors, you can conclude that minus two mu divided by three lambda is equal to one. So, here I'm taking it. So, here it is one times c vector is equal to two mu divided minus two mu divided by three lambda times a cross b. So, when two vectors are equal, their coefficients are also supposed to be equal, right? When this is the case, minus 2 mu is equal to 3 lambda, which implies 3 lambda plus 2 mu is equal to 0. So, let's check if there is an option like that. Yes. So, 3 lambda plus 2 mu is a 0. So, option, did I make a mistake? Where? Minus two the whole of minus. Did they give anything about? But a C vector is equal to negative of this thing.
थ्री लैमडा प्लस टू म्यू ओनली शुड बी व्हाट इज गिवन एक्चुअली वेट देयर इज अनदर लॉजिक आल्सो दैट वन सो लेट मी डू इट अगेन व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन इन रिलेशन बिटवीन राइट सो see one thing i can conclude is if two vectors the sum of two vectors are getting cancelled out if sum of two vectors is equal to zero then you can say that the vectors are opposite to each other is it clear because yesterday we saw in one property a vector plus Negative of a vector is zero. Under zero vectors property, we saw this, right? So if this is one vector, three times lambda c vector is equal to minus two mu times a vector cross b vector. Then what I can conclude is c vector is equal to negative of a vector cross b vector. So when I conclude this, then three lambda will be equal to this. I can write it as. 2 mu times minus a vector cross b vector right so when i write it like this c vector and minus of a vector cross b vector are the same so what should happen to the coefficients they should be the same that is where i made a mistake so 3 lambda is equal to 2 mu is the right answer i was wondering if the they gave it wrong but i just thought it again but 3 lambda is equal to 2 mu is right answer did you understand the logic yes so make a note of this the next one magnitude of a vector is 5 magnitude of b vector is 4 magnitude of c vector is c thus what will be the value of magnitude of a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a given that a plus b plus c is zero so write down the question and then try tell me what is the idea you are getting So how will you proceed? Yes. 
so they gave a plus b plus c is zero what is given magnitude of a is how much magnitude of b is how much magnitude of c is how much 543 we want we need to find the magnitude of a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a correct take dot b on both the sides so a dot b plus b dot b plus c dot b is equal to 0 similarly so if i take dot b on both the sides that is what i am getting correct yes. so a dot b plus c dot b plus what is b dot b it is b square b cross b is 0 b dot b is not zero so b cross is the zero so a dot b plus b dot c is equal to negative of b square so what is minus of b square minus 16 huh? so a dot b plus b dot c is minus 16 similarly tau a take dot a on both the sides a square plus b dot a plus c dot a is zero so what is a square? Then I'll get b dot a plus c dot a is equal to minus of 24. Okay, instead, what you can do whenever you have dot product, right? a plus b plus c, take the magnitude of it and square it on both the sides so that it becomes a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c is equal to zero. Then this becomes a square plus b square plus c square plus 2a dot b plus 2b dot c plus 2c dot a is equal to 0. Okay. What is a square? 25. Plus 2 times a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a is equal to 0. So 25 plus 16 is 34. 34 plus 9 is 43. So Sorry, 25 plus 16 is 41. 41 plus 9 is 25. So, A dot B plus B dot C plus C dot A is equal to minus 50 divided by 2. So, this becomes 25. But they ask the magnitude of it. So, A dot B plus B dot C plus C dot A is minus 25. So, magnitude of it will be, it will be 25 because you are taking modulus. So answer is like this. Can you keep trying the other questions? I'll share you the link. Okay. You can sit there and keep trying the problems. Okay. Uh, I'm sending you the link.